I'm Kevin Cabell, Senior Vice President here at DISH. I would like to give you an update on our ongoing negotiations with Mission Broadcasting, the owner of this local channel. We're sorry that Mission has chosen to block this local channel. Our goal is to never have channel interruptions. We have been working with Mission to reach a fair agreement that would allow us to keep this programming for you. But Mission refused to allow you to view their local channels while we continue to negotiate. You probably aren't aware, but Mission has a record of blocking their channels from TV companies, most recently with DirecTV and AT&T UVerse. Instead of continuing to negotiate without interruption, Mission leverages their go-to negotiating tactic of removing their channel from their viewers. They play on your emotions to get customers like you upset in hopes that you will put pressure on DISH to cave to their unreasonable demands. Why do they continue to do this? Because it's the easy way to grab more cash with you in the middle. Please don't fall for their games. It's an unfortunate and shameless tactic that needs to stop. Now, let me give you some insight into what Mission is asking from DISH and ultimately you. They're demanding DISH pay significantly higher rates for the same local channels that you're enjoying today. I'm sure like me, you can remember when local channels were free and watched with an over-the-air antenna. Guess what? Even today, customers can still watch free local channels like this one with a digital antenna. So you may ask if they're free, what is this all about? Well, broadcasters like Mission found a way to make billions of dollars on these free local channels by charging cable and satellite companies to carry these free signals. What started out as free has ballooned to over $14 billion today. Here's their game. Every time a contract is renewed with a cable or satellite company, broadcasters like Mission try to get customers upset by blocking channels with the goal to have these customers demand the return of the channels at any price. Folks, this is how something that is free skyrockets to $14 billion, and it's you that ultimately pays. Mm -hmm. We need to stop the madness. Our commitment is to stand up for you, our customer, and because the increase they are asking affects you directly, we feel strongly about fighting for a fair rate to ensure you get the best possible value from DISH. Our top priority is to reach a fair agreement with Mission to bring this local channel back as quickly as possible. Now, I hope this helps you understand our point of view, and we encourage you to reach out to Mission to learn more about theirs. All their contact information and any updates on this negotiation can be found on dishpromise.com. And as always, we appreciate you as a customer, and we thank you for your patience. We'll be in touch with future updates as we have them. Thank you. Hello, I'm Christina. Do you ever go to one of your TV channels and not see your programming? Ever wonder why that happens? Ever get mad about it? Now here's what I've learned. As you probably know, cable and satellite TV companies sign contracts with all the broadcasters. The broadcasters send their signal to cable and satellite companies, and that company delivers the signal to your house, sort of like a mailman. TV companies have to get permission from the station's owner to retransmit their signal. Sometimes when the broadcasters and the TV providers get into negotiations, the broadcasters take away the signal. It's a power move on their part. They may even do this if the channel they want more money for isn't a local channel. 
That's right. The broadcasters think they can hold local channels hostage to get higher rates on unrelated channels you may not even watch. It's no coincidence that this usually happens before a big television event or premiere, knowing this would inconvenience viewers the most. They may even run ads suggesting viewers switch TV providers, knowing full well that those other providers are stuck in the same boat, paying fees to the same broadcasters. Switching TV providers is not the answer. While TV companies have different contract expiration dates with broadcasters, all TV companies face the same problem. Unfortunately, the broadcasters keep asking for more and more money for signals available to some for free over the airwaves. They do this with disregard to the fact that many Americans rely on satellite TV companies to receive their local channels because they live too far away from the broadcaster's signal. The negotiations keep happening because an outdated ruling from Washington forces satellite and cable companies to pay for these free signals. So the broadcasters actually figured out how to get paid twice, and they've been getting away with it. They get money from the TV providers, and they get paid more by advertisers because they're getting a bigger audience. From the way broadcasters have been increasing prices, they seem to think that they have access to nearly unlimited funds. The broadcasters have a monopoly, and they're taking advantage of that. The TV providers are working together to stop the broadcasters from raising prices to numbers almost too big to believe, numbers that directly impact your monthly television bill. What kind of numbers are we talking about? Broadcasters have raised prices by as much as 40% per year, multiple years in a row. During the same period, annual cable and satellite bills only increased 5% per year on average. To put it into perspective, imagine if the $3 gallon of milk bought from the grocery store three years ago cost more than $8 today. Something needs to be done before that gallon of milk costs $12 or more the following year. The satellite and cable companies are negotiating to keep prices down. And with help from the government, outdated rules can be changed to end broadcaster blackouts. You should have access to local channels, but at a fair price. And TV providers like this one are working around the clock to make that happen. Check out this website for more information.